Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new plugin. Now the first thing you need to do, whether you are publishing from Studio or Storyline, is to publish your content. And when that's complete, you'll click on the zip icon. And we're going to save this to the desktop. After that, just log into WordPress and create a new post. And you'll notice a new icon. Click on that. And then let's choose the zip file that we just created. Click on upload. When that's complete, you'll have several different options. And for this demo, I'm going to choose Lightbox. Uh, we have a new option for using the custom image, and I'll come back to that. You can uh, disable the scroll bar, and you can also select the theme. I'm going to choose Vintage, and I'm going to update the sizing options for this item. Now this will be variable depending upon the content that you upload, and also the theme within your WordPress installation. I'm going to preview my content. And notice I have a launch button. Click on that. And notice how the storyline content loads with this awesome vintage theme. And notice the articulate content is sized perfectly within that light box. And of course, you can always just tweak uh, the pixels if it doesn't appear correctly the first time for you. Now we have a new articulate dashboard. And we have a lot of cool new options here. So first, you can change the actual Lightbox style. So if you're using a theme within WordPress that just doesn't respond very well to the default Lightbox, you can actually switch that to Nevo. Now for Colorbox, we have several different options. You can change the transition that's used to fade or none. And you can even use these 12 new themes. Now I used Vintage earlier, but there's several different ones that you can check out here. And what's really cool is let's say we want to use fancy overlay and we want to preview that and see what it looks like. So now we have this fancy overlay that displays. And we can check out vintage as well. And we see the vintage. And if you want to use these as a default, just click save. Another option is that you can change the default sizing options. So if you're uploading a lot of content and you find that you need to update the sizing uh, constantly, you can come in here, select custom, and update these so you can use them as a default later. With the Nevo Live Box, we have some different options. Uh, we have several different effects that can be used, but themes are not supported for this. Uh, only color box can use the themes. Now the next new feature is custom buttons. So instead of using the default launch presentation button, you can create your own buttons. Now all this data comes from the media library that you have within WordPress. So if you're using an updated version of WordPress, you can either upload or just select one of your existing ones. Now after you've added that button, click on save. And then we're going to create a new post. We'll go to the content library so we can use the existing content we've already uploaded. And choose Lightbox. And we're going to use a custom image. From here we'll select one. And notice how we get a nice little preview of that button. And I'm just going to insert that into the post. We'll do a preview. And notice now our, instead of the launch presentation button, we now have the custom button that we uploaded to WordPress. So there you go. That's all the cool new features that you can check out in the new version of this plugin.